Hey, I'm Jacob Partsby and this is my comparison video between the Ollie and the Sphero 2.0. Let's get to it. So first up with the Ollie. So the Ollie is a really good fast robot, especially made for those who love drifting, speed, sort of tricks, and yeah, that's kind of it. Which are the Sphero, these people who like who love water, you know, throwing it into the water, going out in your kayak or something, and just, you know, swimming around with it, that sort of thing. So first of all, we're going to start off with the price. So Sphero 2.0, I bought this in New York for $129, right? Which works out about £88, which is cheaper than buying it from the UK. Also, because I bought it from Brookstones, I got a $30 bonus extension back, which you can actually get still, I think. Anyway, I'll t I talk about my review and unboxing that sort of thing, so those links will be below. So then the Ollie I bought this from iWoot, which is Iwantoneofthese.com, that will be linked below. I got it for £70, well £69.99, which is probably still the same price, which is a lot cheaper than Amazon and Sparrow's official website. So now the packaging, right? Um, so packaging wise, this is the Ollie box, which you can't see, but still. So it's quite big compared to the Sparrow 2.0 box, which we've got here. It's a lot bigger, so um, it should be able to fit more stuff in, which isn't true. So with the Ollie, all we got was the Ollie, and it's charging wire, which I'll talk about in a bit, and then some instruction manual. That was it. That's all you got with the Ollie, just itself and the charging wire. That's it. Whereas with the Sphero, with the smaller box, you got a cradle for it, which I don't really use that much. Not only one ramp, but two ramps. Uh, I got a nubby case with it, which is, this is a hex nub one, this nubby one's in there. And then actually a charging dock, which is a lot better than the USB wire, but I'll talk about that in a bit. Now we're gonna talk about the um, charging ways. So this is the Ollie wire. This is actually tied up with the little wire I talked about, wire I haven't talked about it before. I call it the Battersby wire trick, because I've never seen it before, but yeah, I'll talk about it in a later video. Yeah, it's nice and blue, just like the um, tyres that came with it. It's got a little Sphero logo on it, and yeah, it's got a micro USB, it's quite long. It's not actually micro, it's like the ones you get with the BlackBerry or Sony Xperia play thing. Right? It's quite long, about maybe a metre, maybe 1.2, like the iPhone wires. And um, yeah, it's very good for, you know, plugging into my laptop, which I use a lot. And then watching it charge, you know, it flashes a few colours and it goes red, and then when it's charged it goes green, which is a lot easier than the Sphero, but I do not like how it is not waterproof because of it, which I will talk about later. So with the Sphero, you get a suction charger, which is wireless, even though it does need a wire there, which is just a DC volt thing. Basically, it's just a DC 5 volt maybe, or 12 volt, I can't remember, and you can get them with all sorts of... Uh, all sorts of cameras and stuff like that. You get, you probably have one lying around your house. So basically, you just drop Sphero in there like that. Boom. That charges when it's plugged in, and it's quite, quite handy. And obviously, that means it's waterproof, which is very good compared to the Ollie. And um, also, with further accessories, these are Hexnub cases. This is by a company by Hexnub, um, who have sent me quite a lot of stuff. So shout out to them for that. Go check out their YouTube channel, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Okay, everything is turning on. Anyway, so this is a blue one, hex nub case cover sort of thing. Very stretchy, very durable. I've done a review and unboxing all that sort of thing, so that will be linked below. Underneath that like button, so go click on that. Also, apart from these, you get these nubby covers, which are made by Sphero themselves, which Sphero makes a lot of accessories for Sphero, but not as many for the Ollie. So there is a new skate park available called Terrain Park, which I am at I am interested in buying, especially after Christmas time, as it hopefully will go down in price. It is only about £12, but you can only get it in the US, so I'm going to have to try and import it in or something. Apart from that, you just get the new terrain park. You also get like a little chariot for it, so this little casing goes on top of Sphero and it kind of like turns it into like a chariot thing. Anyway, check out the website, links will be below, you will see what I'm on about. Now for Ollie. The only accessories really are these end caps, which mine are getting a bit dirty because I took it outside yesterday. Um, and yeah, the tyres, that's it. That's all you can change about Ollie. Uh, you can't exactly put a massive case on it because it just wouldn't work. But yeah, there are quite a few, actually yeah, there are quite a few tyres for the Ollie. Um, hopefully Hex will make their own, so if they're watching this, you know, 
I think this sort of pattern on these tyres would give it so better traction, especially you know on rough terrain. I've tried it on some terrain, it doesn't even work. Like my Ollie at my grandma's video, which will be in the link below, <laughs> links below, sorry. There was a lot of hail that day, so I took it out thinking it looked sick. I put it down, it wouldn't even move, and I think with this case on, I think it might. So, yeah, shout out to them while I'm here. And then just the end caps, you can get like two other types, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's one or two. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it for the accessories. So, if you've watched my Ollie review, my biggest downfall to the Ollie was actually how it lacks the waterproof capabilities. Basically for the sake of that charging port we can't have any waterproof stuff with it. I don't know if it would even work in water but if it did or they changed it so it would, 14 miles per hour or not so whatever it is would be sick as you know you could probably catch up with most speed boats if they go at that speed I'm not really sure. So yeah that's probably like the only downfall to the Ollie that's why I would probably stay away from buying it if you were interested in going in the water a lot. To be fair, I've only put him in the water either to show on YouTube or just to mess about with while I'm at my lake near my caravan, so <laughs> yeah. Pretty much apart from the speed and the waterproof capabilities, Ollie and Sphere are actually the same. Like I'm actually looking at the specs on the actual boxes now. Three hours equals one hour playtime, that's exactly the same for the Ollie. Uh, two meters per second is speed, so obviously not. 30 meter range, which is the same on the Ollie. Yeah, 30 meter range, which I don't know if that's true because it did kind of run out of range pretty quick, but still, millions of colours, oh look, millions of colours, basically the LEDs on here can go quite a lot. I didn't think all that was LED, I thought it was just like one bar, but actually no, it does look pretty good at night time, especially, uh, it's probably, these two out together on the streets would look pretty sick. So yeah, shout out to Sphero for that idea. One of the queries and questions I want to ask Sphero is how come Ollie is cheaper than Sphero, because Sphero is smaller so most of the time smaller things are cheaper except in thinness um, and faster things are normally more expensive you know getting a fast race car getting a faster race car then you know they're normally more expensive so i think all they've done they've sure have done really well with all they actually so yeah Overall, as I've said before in nearly every other video, I would highly recommend the Ollie to people who love drifting, driving, speed, all that sort of thing, and school little tricks and that sort of taking it outside, showing it off, that sort of people. And then obviously Sphero for those who love, I know, swimming in the water, uh, showers or baths or something like that. Basically anything to do with water, go for the Sphero, obvious reasons. And then that's kind of it with Sphero, you know, there's not much else. I also said in my Features and the Impressions video, which has got quite a lot of views, 320 last time I checked. So yeah, I have found myself using this less, but not too much, because thanks to Hexnob, I have their Pro Explorer bag, so go check out that review and their website to buy it. It's a very good price, by the way. And I carry around both of these in the bag, so whenever I take my bag out to go play with either of them, I end up playing with both anyway, so. Overnight, three hour charge, unplug them after the three hours, go outside, play with Ollie for an hour, play with Sphero for an hour, two hours fun for three hours, so you lose out on an hour overall, which is why it's good to have both. Overall price for both is about £170. Now, £170 for basically a remote control car is pretty standard at the moment, you know, to get a decent one. Like my mate bought a Lamborghini uh, remote control car for £45 from Maplin's yesterday. Well, two days ago. And if you would like to see a race between the Ollie and the Lamborghini, or Sphero and the Lamborghini, or just these two race each other, then please comment below and leave a like. If this reaches five likes, then yeah, I'll definitely do that video. Although I'll probably do it anyway, because it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's £45 for a car that is pretty slow compared to Ollie, so yeah. Money is sort of everything. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry, it's kind of like a mixed up video. I kind of wanted to give my honest opinion instead of like getting a script or something like that. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.